Today we create a simple and minimal title animation in After Effects. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create a really nice, simple and minimal looking text animation in After Effects. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be our main comp. So let's rename this to main. 1920 into 1080 let's make this 60 fps 10 seconds should be good and hit ok so the first thing that i'm going to do is type in our text so you can of course type in anything that you want i'm just going to type in the example text that is modern stylish and dynamic so let's type in modern and you can of course use any font but i would recommend using the Montserrat font which is really good and looks pretty cool on this effect so let's type in Montserrat there we go let's make this white and I'm gonna keep it bold let's make this around 150 pixels looks good and set the corning to around 10 pixels yep maybe I'll make it 120 pixels that looks better Let's align this in the center. Let's duplicate it. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Hold Shift and drag this below just like that. And let's type in our second text that is stylish. Duplicate it by hitting Ctrl D. Bring this down holding Shift and let's type in dynamic. Oh. Dynamic, <laughs> dynamic. There we go. Then I'm gonna select all the layers and turn on the title action safe. Let's place it in the center, just like so. And just to be a bit more precise, I can select all the layers, all the text layers, and click on this icon which says vertical center distribution. So it's gonna, you know, keep it really precise. So. We are good with the text, so let's create our stroke for the box or cube you can say. I'm going to set it to 15 pixels maybe. And let's hold Alt and Control at the same time and create a cube or box something like this. Also you can tweak it up from the rectangle path section, unlink this and you can adjust this manually just like so. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Let's rename this to box and turn off the title action safe. Then I'm going to select the pen tool, keep the pixel stroke pixels to 15 just like for the box and create a stroke just like so pretty randomly. And then what I can do is I can animate the stroke. So the first thing that we need to do is animate the stroke. But before that, let's rename this to stroke all right and I add a trim part to this and then we can basically animate the start option of the stroke and the end option as well so let's keep it at zero and the first thing that I'm gonna do is go to one second create a keyframe go to around let's say 30 frames set this to 100 create a keyframe on the start option go to two seconds and set this to 100 so now we have something like this pretty simple so now what i'm going to do is create a track match for our text so for that i'm going to select the pen tool we don't need the stroke this time so i'm going to set this to zero and we need the fill so i'm going to select maybe something like gray color doesn't really matter which color it is and i'm going to create a shape which looks something like so something like that we don't need to actually be much precise in this just something like that and this is gonna be the mat so I'm gonna rename this to m underscore 
1 because we will be creating a bunch of the mats. And then what we need to do is just place it on the top of, let's say if my first text is modern. So I'm going to place it on the top of modern and change the track mat of the modern by toggle switches and change the track mat to alpha mat or maybe alpha inverted mat. Yeah, that looks good. And the same thing I'm going to do uh, with the stylish and the dynamic text. So what we need to do is select the mat one and hit control D two times. So we have three copies and just place them on the top of the each word just like so select the stylish and a dynamic text and change the track mat to alpha inverted so now we have something like that then what we can do is let's go to two seconds or maybe let's go to three seconds select the text layers and hit p to bring down the position properties create a keyframe on the position properties go to two seconds just like so and drag them just like so of course you can see our mat is a bit short so what we can do is select all the mat alright and let's select the pen tool maybe I think we need to select them individually or may maybe we need to just to we need to turn them on so let's go into the mat 3 click on the shape same with the mat 2 as well content shape wow. Oh, I think we need to do it individually, I guess. So let's select those and drag them just like so. And same with the second one. Basically, you can just copy paste the mats again, but I'm just going to tweak them up just like so. Oh, select the point, hit V, select these two points and just drag them just like so. Same with the first one, pen tool, select the points, hit V select the points and just drag them just like so and then we can just select the mats and hide them there we go so now we have something like this and then what we could do is we can select all the text hit u and then i'm going to displace the keyframes a bit so this is the modern text so this is going to be my first text this is going to be my second text so i'm going to displace this a little bit just like so so we have a little bit of randomness just like that pretty simple let's select the keyframes and hit F9 to ease, ease those keyframes go to graph editor and if your graph editor doesn't look like this make sure to right click and select edit speed graph and not in edit value graph so I'm going to select all the keyframes and drag this handles just to the left just like so so we have a little bit more subtle animation as you can see looks really nice maybe I'll make them a bit closer I'll just go to around let's say 15 frames this to 30 frames okay pretty good then we can just select all the layers and change them to red color so we can see it more properly because now we need to duplicate them so I'm going to select all the layers hit ctrl D to duplicate them and let's make some room right over here let's bring them at the bottom and change the color to something like maybe yellow just so that we can see them more properly hit U so we can see just the keyframes and then what I can do is just go right over here I guess okay let's go to right over here at this keyframe and drag this text in the opposite direction just like so then go to right over here at this keyframe let's drag this text just like so right over here go to this keyframe and drag this text oh I think this text that is our first text basically so now we have something like this as you can see and now what we need to do is select the track mats 4 5 and 6 and change oh actually select the text the second text and change the track mat to alpha mat so now we have something like this which looks pretty cool though as you can see really really nice let's set this to full see it more properly maybe I need to tweak them a little bit maybe I drag them in just a frame or let's say I'll select the mats the fourth fifth and sixth and drag them just a bit closer so we don't get any artifacts and there we go looks pretty good we need to change the time of the stroke so let's hit U so we can see just the keyframes 
select the keyframes, hold alt and just drag them creating more, you know, simple looking animation. Select the keyframe, set F9, go to graph editor and I'm going to create a handle, something which looks like a peak, something like that. Same for this one as well. Let's see what we have. Okay, that is a bit too slow, I guess. Yep, that is a bit too slow. So let's select all the keyframes, hold alt and just drag them closer just so that the stroke animates a bit faster. I want it to start right over here. Something like that looks good to me, maybe a bit slow, just like so. So let's see. Yep, pretty damn nice. And you can of course select the second text and change the color if you want to so maybe i can keep it something like a blue color and for this text i'm gonna go with kind of a darker pink two of my favorite colors pretty sweet now let's go ahead and animate the box as well so i'm gonna add trim parts to the box as well Let's go into trim part and animate the start property just like so or maybe let's animate the end property. So let's go to maybe let's go to one second and 30 frames. Let's create a keyframe on the end property or maybe let's bring this up to 100. Let's go at the very beginning and set this to zero. So now we have something like this pretty simple. Also, I'm going to animate the offset as well. So let's create a keyframe on the offset. Let's go back in time and I'm going to just offset this by minus 90 degrees. And let's bring this keyframe right over here. So now we have something like this. As you can see, a little bit of offset in the stroke. And also, I'm going to rotate this as well. So let's hit R to bring down the rotation properties. Go to 1 second and 30 frames create a keyframe hit U so you can see just the keyframes go back in time and I'm gonna rotate this at minus 90 degrees so now we have something like this let's select all the keyframes hit F9 to ease ease those keyframes go to graph editor and let's create kind of a peak so let's select this keyframes and drag this handle just like so so let's see our animation yep looking pretty nice as you can see Maybe I'll drag the cube a bit further in time. Something like that looks pretty good. Let's see our animation looking pretty cool. And I think I need to tweak this a bit. Maybe let's set this to zero. Yep. Now it's looking much better and as you can see it's really simple and easy to create. Now what I can do is add some accent to our animation. So what I'm going to do is duplicate the box, hit Control D to duplicate it and set the stroke to around, let's go to maybe 8 pixels and change the color to this darker pink that we have, something like that. Or maybe let's go with the darker blue that we have, something like that. Oh, let's go with the pink. I think I'll stick to pink. Okay, let's set this to pink. And then I'm going to displace this a bit. So maybe I'll just put this back a little bit. No, maybe I'll displace this forward in time a little bit. And put this behind the main box shape. So now we have something like this. Makes it look really nice and dynamic and you can add more and more accent if you want to. So it looks pretty cool. The same thing I'm gonna do with the line or the stroke. So hit Control D to duplicate it. Set the stroke to around eight pixels and change the color to blue. 
there we go displace this a bit put this behind the main stroke and there we have it looking pretty cool as you can see really nice and simple looking animation so let's pretty quickly I'm gonna pre-comb the animation so select all the layers and hit Control shift C to pre-compose it and let's call this text animation and let's add a background pretty quick so let's hit Control y to create a new solid let's rename this to BG for background and there we go let's add a gradient ramp to this swap the colors make it a little bit darker gray something like so and set this to radio bring this in the center and drag this just like a little bit something like that looks pretty good to me so now we have something like this looks really nice simple and stylish now one more thing that you can do is add some shadows so to do that i'm going to select the text hit ctrl d to duplicate it oh yep select the second text and let's add a fill to it so let's add fill make it black and then i'm gonna hit s to bring down the scale properties properties let's drag this below just like that and maybe let's let's see what we can do maybe we can create some really cool look which looks something like that and maybe i add vanity and blinds pretty random idea I just thought of it right now 45 degrees or something like that and maybe increase this just like that and this would actually look pretty good though you can see really cool effect just came up with it right now pretty cool but I'm gonna hit ctrl Z and let's go ahead and create some shadows let's bring this below let's make this black Hit S to bring down the scale properties, unlink them, and let's scale them. I think I'm doing it wrong. Something like that. Maybe let's keep it minus 10 or something like this. Add a fast blur to this. Repeat edge pixels and increase the blur just like so. And I can play around with the opacity if I want to. Make it look really nice and subtle something like that and let's see what we have so it gives a bit more depth to our animation which looks pretty good and one more thing that you could do is to reverse the animation let's go to let's say four seconds and to reverse the animation i'm going to pre-comp the shadow and the text again pre-comp it and let's call this animation hold alt and close bracket to crop the animation or the layer Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, right click, go to time and time reverse layer and hold shift and just drag it just like though it should snap right at the, you know, the current time indicator. So now we have the reverse animation as well. So it's a really simple and easy technique to create some really cool looking text animations. As you can see, maybe I'll just set this to half res looking really really cool so that is a wrap for today i hope this video was helpful to you guys and also make sure to check out my vlogging channel if you are my new subscriber if you haven't heard about it then it's life looks like that's the name of my channel so make sure to check it out show some love and yep that's all for today i hope you enjoyed the video and for those who don't know soon i will be shifting to my new studio slash house slash office kind of a space so yep i'll be posting more you know more often on youtube so yep there i give you one reason to subscribe to my channel anyways i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe comment and like and i will see you guys in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget stay raw stay creative baby